Hi friends, uh, I am Rathi and today we are going to learn about some basic principles and techniques of organic chemistry, class 11, chapter number 12. So let's begin with our chapter. Uh, in, today, in today's session, we will learn about what is organic chemistry, why to study organic chemistry, organic chemistry history and the sources of the organic compounds. So what basically is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry are compounds, I would say. Organic compounds are vital for sustaining life on earth and include complex molecules like genetic information bearing DNA and proteins that constitute essential compounds of our blood, muscles and skin. This means that organic compounds for human beings are very important to sustain life on the earth. Uh, for example, we can take the example of the DNA, we can take the example of the protein. These two things are very much necessary for our humanly body. So, organic chemistry, coming to our academics, if you want to know about organic chemistry, organic chemistry is chemistry involving the scientific study of the structures, of the properties, and the reactions of the organic matter and organic compounds. Basically, matter which has been included in the organic materials is in the form of the carbon. So basically, which organic materials may be uh, found, basically or importantly, it is carbon. Hi hota hai. So we can note one thing, that electrons of the carbon, such as diamond and graphite, are considered inorganic. Because you are confused bhi ho sakte ho, and because we say that in organic chemistry, ke andar, carbon is very essential. Hai. So you can also say, you can have a question in your mind that we study carbon ki studies so in organic chemistry? Mein karte hai. Yes, of course we do study of carbon in organic chemistry too. But electrons of carbon that such as diamond and graphite are considered as inorganic and rest all other compounds of the carbon are considered in the organic chemistry. Further moving, why to study organic chemistry? Most of you are thinking, see, chemistry is a boring subject. So, and basically, organic chemistry, uh, the part of the chemistry is too boring. But no, you are very wrong. Organic chemistry is the chemistry which we deal in our daily life. Organic chemistry permeates our daily lives in unfathomable number of ways. For example, we rely on plastic, we rely on fuel, we rely on, uh, rely on phenyl, which we are using in our household things. So, organic chemistry, basically, we are dealing into our day-to-day -day life. We can't uh, uh, <coughs> cut from the organic chemistry. So organic chemistry plays an essential role in diverse fields such as material science, genetics, nutrition and consumer product development. In each and everything we face organic chemistry. For example, in our medicines, pharmaceutical drugs, genetics, nutrition, food, in everything. So now let's come to the organic chemistry history. Uh, organic chemistry is long about 200 years ago. Okay? In the year 1780, chemists began to distinguish between organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. Organic chemistry uh, basically from plants and animals and inorganic chemistry of the inorganic compounds from the mineral which we have with the inorganic compounds which we are prepared, which were prepared from the mineral sources. So they began to distinguish between them the organic compounds and the inorganic compounds. So now, Berzelius, a student chemist, proposed that there is a vital force. There is a lot of force that is very much force that is very much force that is responsible for organic compounds in formation. But in 1828, a scientist was F. Waller. He synthesized, he synthesized the organic compound, urea bone, from inorganic compounds. So the notion Berzelius ka tha ki organic compounds are formed from the vital force. Uh, who notion Wohler uh, uh, ne them reject kar diya. So NH4CNO is ammonium cyanate. It is, an, in, it is an inorganic compound which when heated produces an organic compound known as urea. NH2CO NH2. Now further thoda aur aage jaate hain to aur pata chalta hai ki synthesis of acetic acid CH3 C double bond OH, you will learn further about this compound, but still now over here, synthesis of this compound, acetic acid, bicolvane 1845, and of the methane, that means CH4, which we use in our CNG acid also, yeah. that the methane by Berkeley law in 1856, 
they both confirm the organic compounds can be synthesized from the inorganic food sources. So this was all about the organic chemistry history. Now the sources which are responsible for organic compounds are plants, animals, petroleum and coal. So this was all, this, this is what we have read about the about what is organic chemistry, about uh, what why to study organic chemistry, what is the history of organic chemistry, what are the sources of organic compounds. This is this was the initials about the organic chemistry. This was all for the today's session. Bye.